Hello, welcome to this week's Express class. We're going to build on last week's with our new exercise where we're in both poses as opposed to being lying down. So we're going to build on that again. We're going to do a few roll-ups this time beforehand. And we're going to keep with the hundreds. And we're going to work the hips a little bit more, make them more challenging. So we'll come onto our hands and knees and we'll stretch at the back again, just like last week. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. So we'll sit back onto the heels. Bring the chest down towards the mat and then reach the hands. Crawl the fingers along the mat as far from you as you can. Stretching at the lats and stretching at the back. Good. And then bring the hands all the way out to the left side of the mat. Stretching at the right side. Take a big deep breath in, expanding the right ribs. And then breathing out, crawl the fingers further away. Big deep breath in again, expanding those ribs on the right. And then breathe out again. Bring the hands all the way over to the right side of the mat. Big deep breath in again. Feel a stretch coming all the way down the left side. Walk the hands further away as you breathe out. Big deep breath in again. And as you breathe out, walk the fingers hips a little bit further away. And then come back towards the middle. Lying down flat in the stomach, arch the back, lift the chest up, pinch the shoulder blades back. And then back down. Good, and lift the chest up again, pinch the shoulder blades, keep the chin tucked in, and then back down. One last one, bring the hands a little bit lower down, lift the chest up, pinch the shoulder blades down, chin is tucked in, and the back of the neck is nice and long. And then bring the chest down onto the mat, and then turn over onto the back. So, head resting onto our blocks, imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, and tap the toes off the mat one at a time, focusing on the imprint, relax the shoulder blades, and keep the chin tucked in. And again, you can tap the feet further and further away as you do this. And you can go to the two legs as well if you want. So again, the imprint is the main thing you're looking for. Then you want to focus on keeping the rib cage down and in. Then the shoulder blades drop back. And finally, keep the chin tucked in. So we keep the back of the neck here as long as possible. We don't want it to shorten and be looking over our head. Good. One last one. And the legs back to tabletop. Bring the feet down onto the mat. Bring the right knee into the chest in as tight as you can. And lift the hips up and lower. One. Two, three, the right knee should come in an arc overhead. Four, five, keep the knee to the chest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then switch sides. Right foot onto the mat, left knee to the chest, and lift and lower. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one last one, ten, and then rest back down. Bring the feet down onto the mat, imprint the spine, we bring the legs to the tabletop, knees over the hips, reach the hands to the bottom of the mat, tuck the chin in, head and shoulders up, and beat the hands two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, four, five, and in, two, Four, five, and out, two, four, five, and in, two, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, three more breaths in. Out two three four five last two and out two three four five last breath in and breathe out two three four five rest the head back down and bring the feet down and onto the mat. The next one now we're going to straighten the legs to the ceiling, but first we're going to stretch out the back of the hamstrings, make it a little bit easier for everybody with tight hamstrings like me. So two hands around the back of the right thigh, straighten the legs to the ceiling and hug the thigh in towards the chest. 
Good, keeping the knee as straight as you can the whole time. And then switch legs. Two hands around the back of the left thigh, straight in the left leg to the ceiling. Let the toes point up to the ceiling. We're not trying to stretch the side of the nerve. We're focusing on the hamstrings on the back of the thigh. So don't pull the toes towards you. Don't lift the head up. We're just going to loosen out the muscle. Keep the shoulder blades back. The spine should be imprinted. And we hold the stretch for about 30 seconds, between 20 and 30 seconds. First 20 seconds, the muscle tightens a little bit to make sure it doesn't get overstretched. From 20 to 30, you actually get the stretch of the muscle. And then bend the left knee and bring the foot down onto the mat. Imprint the spine again. Bring the legs to tabletop, straighten the legs to the ceiling. Head and shoulders up and beat the hands. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, four, five. And in, two, four, five. And out, two, four, five. And in, two, three, four, five. And out, two, four, five. And in, two, four, five. And out, two, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two. Four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, four, five, three more breaths in, and out, two, three, four, five, last two, and out, two, three, four, five, last one, roll the head and shoulders up as high as you can, and out, two, three, four, five, bend the knees, rest the head, and bring the feet down onto the mat. We're going to straighten the legs out for the next exercise. Bring the hands back behind the head, arms forward, chin to the chest, and roll up into sitting up nice and tall, chest forward at the end, and control back down. One, two, as you roll back down, keep the shoulders back, rounding the spine. Three, we're going to go up to five, reaching in front, and then the last five, we're going to reach up towards the ceiling. Four, push the chest forward at the end. Five, keep the chin tucked in the whole way up. And for the next five, we're reaching up to the ceiling. Six. And back down, keep the fingers pointing up. Hands come back behind the head. Seven, keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep pointing the fingers to the ceiling. Eight. And control on the way down. Last two. Nine. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. And the last one, arms forward, rolling up, reaching up, 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 up. And then really slow and control on the way back down. Slow down as much as you can. Special the last little bit. Each first breath touches the mat, one after the other. Perfect. We're gonna try a bonus one. Hands to the side of the head. We're gonna roll up, we're gonna keep the elbows pointing out to the sides. So don't let the hands come away from the body, or from the head. Keep the fingertips on the side of the head, chin to the chest, rolling up. And back down onto the mat. Keep the elbows pointing back all the time. Good. We'll try another one. Chin to the chest, rolling up. Good. Chest comes forward at the end. Rolling back down. One last one. We go for three in total. Chin to the chest, rolling up. Keep the feet on the mat. Good, and then point the elbows all the way back, and really, 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 really slow, all the way back down. Good, and keep breathing. Don't hold your breath like I was saying at the end. Good, next one. Imprint the spine, knees are bent, feet are on the mat. Imprint the spine, bring the legs to the tabletop, hands back behind the head. We're gonna go for 10 rows. Good, chest comes forward at the end, keep the heels off the mat. One. And slow and controlled on the way down. Two. Good. Try to keep the hips at 90 degrees the whole time. Three. Four. Chest forward at the end. Five. And back down. Halfway there. Six. Controlled on the way down. Seven. Pinch the shoulder blades back, and back down. Last three. Good. Two more. And then the last one. And then 
and sound controls. Back down onto the mat, hands back behind the head, and bring the feet down. Catch your breath for a second. Next, we're going to roll up and into boat pose again. We're going to bring one hand to the outside of that ankle, the other hand to the inside of the knee, the opposite hand to the inside of the knee, and we're going to switch back and forth. We're going to stay in boat pose the whole time, and remember, push those ribs forward for everything. So the arms are moving side to side, and the legs are coming forward and backwards. Imprint the spine again. Bring the legs to the tabletop. Hands back behind the head. Roll up into bow pose. Right hand to the outside of the right ankle. Left hand to the inside of the right knee. And straighten and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs back into tabletop. And roll back down onto the mat and bring the feet down. Next one we're going to come up. We're going to straighten the legs and little flutter kicks in opposite directions. So, imprint the spine again, hands back behind the head, bring the legs to tabletop, arms forward, chin to the chest, rolling up, straighten the legs and little flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep pushing the chest forward, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees to tabletop, roll back down and bring the feet down onto the mat. Good, two more. The next one we're going to have the hands either side of the head. We're going to bring the elbows in towards the knees, then we're going to extend the knees as we bring the elbows apart. Imprint the spine again, legs to tabletop, arms forward, up into bow pose, hands to the side of the head, elbows to the knees, elbows come apart, knees extend. Bend the knees, elbows in. Two. Straighten the legs, elbows apart. Three. Chest comes forward, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then roll back down onto the mat and bring the feet down. Good. One last one. Up and bow pose. We're going to straighten the legs and we're going to lift and lower. We're going to keep the knees extended this week. So when we get to the bottom, we're not going to bend the knees and bring the feet in. We're going to keep the legs straight. The lower you go, the harder it will be. So you can do small little pulses at the top, or you can bring the legs all the way down to the mat. I'm going to start with small pulses because it's a big step from last week's exercises. Hands back behind the head again. Imprint the spine. Legs to tabletop. Arms forward, chin to the chest, rounding up. Extend the knees. Lower. Lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the chest forward. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees to tabletop, roll back down, and bring the feet down onto the mat. We're going to turn onto our right side now. We're going to have a nice straight line down on the mat, elbow below the shoulder. We're going to lift the hips up ten times. We're going to hold for ten, and then we're going to lift the top leg up. We're going to draw ten circles, at a clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever way you want. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Lift the hips up, one, and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, big straight line down through the body, and then lift the top leg up parallel to the floor, ten circles, one, Two, three, four, five. Don't let the hips drop down. Halfway there. Eight, nine, ten. Rest the legs, rest the hips, and then we'll flip over onto either side. Nearly there, nearly finished. We're going to stretch the hips out at the very end. So bring the headrest with you. Or your tail. So again, straight line down on the mat. Ten lifts, ten second hold, ten circles at the end. Pinch the shoulder blades, chest comes forward, lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold ten, nine, eight. Keep the hips up nice and high. Shoulder blades pinch together. Two, one. Top leg up and circles. One. Two, three, 
four, keep those hips up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest the legs, rest the hips, and turn over onto your back. Rest the head onto our headrest, left ankle over the right knee, hug the right thigh to the chest, and stretch out the left hip. Good, let the shoulders relax back, chin is tucked in, and a good stretch down the back of the left hip and the outside of the thigh. And then switch sides. Right ankle over the left knee, two hands behind the left thigh, and hold the left thigh into the chest, right leg should be as relaxed as possible, shoulders drop back, and chin tucked in. And then rest the legs back down. And that's it. Thanks for joining the class today. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.